Hi ladies, welcome back. I am Amity Rose and today we are talking about a relatively difficult subject sometimes for some of us and that is how to not get caught up in comparing ourselves, especially to other women. It's so easy in the days of social media and technology, we can see everybody's beautiful pictures online, carefully crafted and curated. And it's so easy, even though we've done all this deep inner work, so easy to fall down the rabbit hole of seeing another beautiful woman, loving where she's at, encouraging her, so happy for her, but feeling that tinge inside of, well, my business isn't at that level. I don't have that many followers. I don't even know that many people. I haven't done this. I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not, blah, blah, blah. you know? It's so easy. So I wanted to make a video that kind of went over just some ways that can help you not fall into that rut. If you have social media, Facebook, or get online for any reason, you're gonna see these beautiful women that are doing great work in the world, share their lives. And you can maybe even be following them on purpose because they're doing something in a space that you wanna be in or you find them inspiring or just like you know their lifestyle or whatever the reason is. And you've gotta be really, really careful that you don't internalize that to be something's wrong with you. And that's what I just wanted to talk about a little bit today on how to kind of protect yourself and maybe when to draw the line. I had an instance today where I actually unfollowed a woman. I, I bought her program. I like her as much as I know about her online presence. I like her posts. I like the content that she shared, but there was something telling me like it had turned to an unhealthy, I, I was looking at her and not feeling good about me. And that is tip number one. As soon as that moment happens, as soon as you are watching a feed, anything, and you feel that something is wrong with you because of what you're watching, unfollow, unsubscribe, no questions asked. Do not try to mind puzzle that stuff into place. Well, like what's happening or why do I feel this way? Or, you know, ladies like us tend to do a lot of inner work and no, don't even go there. So as soon, as soon as it takes you out of a space of inspiration, entertainment, anything like that, unfollow, unsubscribe immediately. It doesn't make it permanent. It doesn't mean it's forever. That will also help you get in touch with your value, with your worth. Because if you notice these ladies that are doing things that you adore and appreciate and love, they know their value, their worth. And you just might not be there yet. So they went through experiences where they got to discover what brilliant queens they are. And you might be in the beginning of that journey, whereas they're, you know, a few miles ahead of you. And that's what you're witnessing here in the posts and the success in their business and the followers that they have, whatever it is, they're just a few miles ahead on the road of knowing their self-worth and their power. These women have tapped in, tuned on to their divinity. So the second step rolls us into the third one, which is to know and discover your worth and your value. Because the thing that these women have, the ones that you follow, that inspire, they have tapped into and fully realized their personal worth and value, their divinity. They have connected to it and it oozes out of everything they create. So what you're seeing online or through their courses or meeting them in person, that success, that happiness, that joy is a direct result of them plugging in to their divinity 
and they know that they are valuable. They know that they have special skills. They know that they have a gift that they're gonna share with the world, that they are sharing with the world, and the world responds. So you have to think of it as, these women are only just a few miles ahead of you as far as knowing their worth. Maybe you're in the beginning of the journey, just building some confidence, just kind of coming out of being terrified to share yourself with the world. These women are just a few laps ahead. They've gone through their own life experiences that has brought them out and they have plugged in and they're in touch with knowing they are awesome queens here to deliver only a gift that they can deliver and they're doing it. So the last and final step is check in, discover your worth. Take a moment, pause, breathe. You are worthy. And all of your dreams, every single one of them, can come true and will come true when the time is right. The other thing that we need to consider is the universe works on divine timing, not our personal schedule. So these things that you've dreamed of, a successful business, a group full of girlfriends, whatever it is that is important to you is going to happen. It is going to manifest. But you keep showing up, plug in to your divinity, unfollow if it ever gets unhealthy, and keep on discovering your worth. And you're worthy without doing anything. You don't have to do anything to be worthy. You are worthy because you be, because you're here, because you're in a body. I really hope this helps whenever you feel bombarded by amazing women that you know you should be celebrating, but that it hurts to watch what they're creating and you're not there yet. Remember, you're just a few laps behind, but everything that is yours is still yours, and it is there when you are ready. I love you. I'll see you next time.